So, where would we be without suffering? Very strange question. If life wasn't hard, where would we where would we get any sense of strength? I want to speak about a butterfly. We all know that a butterfly starts out as a caterpillar, basically a worm. And then after a season of eating leaves, it, it makes a cocoon. And then after a season, it begins to try to eat its way out or break its way free of the cocoon. And if it doesn't struggle to get out of that cocoon hard, it will die. It will never become a butterfly. So now let's take a look at the question of evil in the world. If there was all good and everything was easy and everybody could just skate through life, would there be any perfection? Would there be any growth? Would there be any good without bad? My guess is no. There wouldn't be anything good unless there was something, not just to measure it against, but in something to achieve. So as to the question of why God made evil, I don't think he had a choice. You think, well, God's all-powerful. He can give us a lollipop world, gumdrops and lollipops and life be wonderful. Imagine living in this gumdrop world, skating by, and everything is wonderful. Isn't that the way God should have made it? Maybe God is much wiser than that. Hmm? So, why make it that way? To make things worth something, to make some things precious, especially heaven, man's achieving of heaven, man becoming better and better and better. But the fact is, is that man can't reach perfection so that this way we can rest in the perfection that was made for us in Jesus Christ. This is what makes Jesus' blood precious. Without, without something that's unachievable, like perfection, there cannot be something worth anything when it comes to salvation. I think God was very wise in the way he made things. And you say, well, what of, what of the wicked? Well, they were necessary. Do they have a chance to change? Yes. Did they remain in their wickedness? Yes. Well, and this gets down to whether or not man has free choice, free will or not. Now let me put it this way. On this earth, I can pick up this glass and I can do what I wish with it. And what I wish with, to do with it, whether good or bad, especially if there's arsenic in the glass, if I drink it, because I wish to. Well, did God program me to do that? Whether God programmed everything I do or not, I did it because I wanted to. And maybe God put that want there, or he, he, uh, he orchestrated it all. But I also, if I want to, could not drink that glass, or I could drink something that would make me feel good. Something, I could drink alcohol, but I could probably drink, you know, maybe a health drink. So the question of choice is, do we have one or not? Well, in our own selves, we do have choice. And that's why we have consequences for our choices. Whether God directed whatever it was from the beginning, to me, really doesn't matter. If, if you mock God, then why should God save you? But God does save those who mock him because he's wise. So, you know, that's why the wicked are judged. And there's this question, well, will they burn in hell forever? 
I don't ask, I mean, I believe that God is a just God and also a compassionate God. But I can't tell you, I can't speak for God. I can tell you that the evidence that are, that's in the scriptures doesn't say that it might seem to people like people will burn forever in hell, but it, 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 it mainly interpreted right may mean that they're just ended, annihilated. So they have their life, they do their wicked thing, and then it's over. No more, no more eternal life. But those who God made for eternity suffered on this planet because of these people who made them suffer, who were mockers of God to begin with. See, that makes sense to my human mind. Whether... You know, whether it's the fact or not the fact, I have to understand and you have to understand that God is is more wise than I am or you are. And so when it comes to these questions, is God just for for punishing evil? Well, the question here, here I think you should focus on is, what did you do? Did you reject Jesus Christ? Or did you mock him? Or did you decide not to love him because you, you thought that God made you a robot? When you still do have, or you, you can do what you wish to do. And if you want to be saved, you can call out to him. Um, that's the question here. You see, you can be one of those who, are, who get persecuted on this earth because of your belief in a good God that provided a way of, of eternal life. Or you can be annihilated with what with those who had their party on earth and mocked God or whatever they did or were angry at God or had whatever problem they are and wind up annihilated. Or maybe eternal suffering. I don't I don't know, I don't think that that's that's the case. But that's irrelevant to me. If your worth if your actions require judgment because this world is a perfect world. And you have been given the grace to not be perfect, but have somebody be perfection for you, Jesus Christ, and you throw that gift away. Well, there is no other stream or no other way to attain to eternal life. So the consequences of how you acted are up to you, aren't they? God bless.